Hi, I'm Tim Berglund with Confluent. Here, well, not in any exotic outdoor location this time, but in my studio at the House of Berglund to tell you all about Confluent Platform 6.2. To build really robust systems that harness data in motion, to deliver rich front-end customer experiences with scalable, performant, real-time back-end operations, you need specialized infrastructure different from what we've had in the past. That's Confluent Platform. Here, data is not static and at rest, but continuously moving and continuously being processed and analyzed in real-time. That's the key point. The notion is that data is moving. It's not just sitting there. For a modern, software-defined business, a platform for data in motion is crucial to connecting every part of that business's large and non-trivial IT infrastructure together. It enables the business to process, react, and respond to their streams of event data in real time. And when I say the business, you and I both know that we mean software you're writing. What happens if we don't do this? Well, bad things. When mission-critical processes and applications fail, the business notices, and not in a good way. Mitigating the risk of business disruption is critical for you and the systems you build to be able to compete and maybe even innovate and maybe win in the event-first digital world. With the release of Confluent Platform 6.2, we're introducing a feature called Health Plus. This provides the tools and visibility needed to ensure the, well, the, the health of your environment and minimize business disruption, which, as we discussed, we don't like. It gives us a few new things. Intelligent alerts, cloud-based monitoring, and a streamlined support experience. Let me tell you about these things. First up, intelligent alerts. So these allow you to get customizable, rule-based alerts to identify problems before they become critical issues that lead to things we don't like, downtime and, and business disruption. We've managed over 5,000 clusters as of the time of this recording in Confluent Cloud, so we've had the ability to build up some interesting algorithms around alerting. Now that functionality is available to you even if you're not a Confluent Cloud user. Okay, next, a cloud-based monitoring dashboard. Again, extracted from our development of Confluent Cloud, monitoring dashboards allow you to look at all the critical health metrics of your clusters in a single dashboard that we serve to you. You don't manage extra monitoring infrastructure of your own because life is short. And it's not just a dashboard, it's Confluent-backed insights and recommendations. That's in the same vein as intelligent alerts there. And of course, you can integrate the monitoring data into your existing tools like Prometheus and Grafana and all that. Third is accelerated Confluent support. Because the Confluent support team has secure access to your cluster metadata, that's not data in topics, mind you, but metadata, without you having to manually input information about your environment via support tickets in a moment when you're maybe possibly slightly a little bit stressed and not at your best, uh, this ensures a much smoother support experience and hopefully reduced time to issue resolution. Like, imagine if you could use a computer to write your Zendesk tickets for you. I mean, how great is that? Now, digging into intelligent alerts just a little bit more, there are 10 total alerts right now as of this release, including validation of disk usage, unused topics, offline partitions, and other things. Now, you know full well, product managers will not be able to contain themselves. They will add more alerts to this collection in the future, and that is a very good thing. So count on this list to grow. You can also customize the types of notifications you receive. Right now, you're able to choose Slack, email, and webhook. Health Plus also provides real-time and historical monitoring data, aggregated and made visible to you for easy troubleshooting and trend analysis. You can view broker throughput, topic throughput, replicated partitions, disk usage, network handler pool usage, request handler pool usage, and even more than that. Health Plus surfaces all this stuff clearly and in an organized way, enabling you to dig into problems and analyze usage without having to run so much as a single local monitoring server. And remember the auto support feature I mentioned? Well, Health Plus provides Confluent support engineers with critical context about your environment automatically. Again, why not use computers for these things? By enabling access to configuration and cluster metadata through Health Plus, we have a real-time view of the performance of your Confluent platform deployment without having to access any of your cluster's data. And let me say that again, because it's important. The data that we can see only includes non-sensitive metadata, not payload or topic data. Sharing this context can help resolve Confluent Platform support tickets significantly faster, and it offloads many of the manual steps, which nobody really enjoys, required to file a support ticket. But Health Plus isn't all there is in CP 6.2. Let me tell you about the rest.
We're introducing new enhancements to cluster linking, which is still in preview state for Confluent Platform. We're introducing a new failover command, which makes it even easier to do an HADR failover using cluster linking. If you create a disaster recovery cluster in another region and have synced data using cluster linking, you can call failover on a per topic basis to keep up and running if your main cluster goes down. So better disaster recovery and better cluster availability. In the KSQL DB department, we're enabling any serialization format to be used for keys in KSQL DB. Previously, you didn't have as many options. Typically, the keys were just primitive types. And if you want a big Avro object for your key, a lot of people do, and now you actually can. 0.17 is the version of KSQL DB in Confluent Platform 6.2. It's also got support for query migrations, very important, Lambda functions, array, and struct key types, if you really like those complex and compound key types, and more. You want to check the release notes on ksqldb.io on that website for full coverage of the release. Following the long-standing tradition of every Confluent Platform release, 6.2 is built on the most recent version of Kafka, in this case, 2.8. And 2.8 does a lot. Let me just tell you about two things. Number one, it's the initial merge of KIP 500, which replaces Zookeeper with a self-managed quorum. That's Kafka's own inter-broker quorum protocol. But it's now possible to start a cluster without Zookeeper and go through some basic product and consumer use cases. It's a huge step for Kafka. Another one, KIP 700. This is uh, an enhancement to uh, an admin API. It's the add describe cluster API. The Kafka admin client has historically used the broker's metadata API to get information about the cluster. However, that is primarily focused on supporting the consumer and producer clients, and they follow different patterns than the admin client. KIP 700 decouples the admin client from the metadata API by adding a new API to directly query brokers for information about the cluster. This change enables the addition of new admin features in the future without disruption to the producer and consumer, and is also related broadly to the remover of Zookeeper. And there's so much more than that. We've got a release video, as always, a blog post, and the Apache Kafka release notes are always where you want to go for full details. And that does it for Confluent Platform 6.2. Check it out today. <laughs>